centric. So the moves that we are doing are going to be things that you've probably seen before, but we are doing them today in the name of speed, so number of reps. And so I want you to try and move as fast as you can, uh, fast being completely dependent on what you can do that's still safe. So um, our intervals are going to be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Um, but with that, we're going to run through each exercise four times. So it's going to be this like fast burst of energy. I want you to get going, quick rest, then we jump right back in it. So let's hop on up, get the cycles going, grab your water, grab your brain. Um, getting going. All right. Give me some shoulder shrugs to warm everything up. Especially important that we warm up today because we don't want to just kind of launch ourselves into moving really quickly. Mm -hmm. Good. And then just start to rotate side to side, releasing the spine. Good. And as we come back to center, step the legs wide. Couple times, just a little bend in the knees, reaching alternate arms up and over to open up the shoulders, the sides of the body. This is not our actual exercises. We're just waking the body up. Good. Couple more. And last thing, I call these arm rainbows or whatever you want to call them, half circles, reaching both arms all the way up and back, keeping them nice and straight, bring them back around and through. Two more. And last one. And we'll go ahead and get going. So first exercise of the day, very familiar. We have wrist curls. We're just going to flip the palms to face up, grab imaginary weights, keeping those arms nice and straight. First 30 seconds, we're curling up and up. So go ahead and jump into it. And you know your body, so go ahead and set your cycle accordingly. Now we've only got 30 seconds. I want to see you pumping fast. Go, go. There we go. Yeah. Getting into the forearms to start. Pump those wrists. Up, up. Mm-hmm. Got 10 more seconds. Give it all you've got. Now you know how hard this is. So if you want to adjust your cycle for the next round, we can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Shake it out. Okay. I'm going to up my cycle a little bit. All right. Next set in five, four, three, two, 30 seconds. Pump them. Good. Get going really fast. So there's a term in CrossFit called AMRAP, as many reps as possible. That's what we're thinking for this today, safely. Cool. Nice. Squeezing the fist the whole time. Go, 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 go. Mm hmm Good. Last five, four, three, two, ten seconds rest. Shake it out. Oh, I like it. See people moving fast. All right. Next set in five, four, three, two, let's go. Squeeze them, 30 seconds. Good, extending the fist away from the shoulders the whole time you do this, it's growing nice and tall, so we're not slouching out. Curl and curl. Now, if your forearms aren't burning, go even faster, straighten out those arms even more, up and up. I wanna see full burn now. Mm-hmm, last 10. Good, we have five, four, three, Two, rest, 10 seconds. And after this, we have one more set. And we're going to move into tricep dips. Good. We're going in five, four, three, two. Last set. Curl them up. Starting to get those veins popping up. Everything's working. So we're not actually doing our cardio sets today. We're just doing all of our main exercises, but we're going fast. Quick bursts. Yeah. Ooh. And at the second, third burst, you should feel like your muscles are starting to burn out. So that's what we want to be especially careful to be safe as we do our more difficult exercises. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. 
Beautiful. Go ahead and drop it down. Tricep dip. Hands are underneath the shoulders. We're going to press the butt up. If tricep dips are too difficult, you can always do tricep extensions. I keep my butt off the floor. 30 seconds. Bend the elbows. Press. Down. Up. Time's rolling. Step number one. Good. Now go fast. Woo. There you go. But not so fast that you can't sustain. Don't let your butt touch the floor. That's it. Good. Half done. Good. Press your butt up even higher. Last 10. We rest in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your butt down, but keep the position because we're going to jump right back up. Whoo, catch your breath in five, four, three, two. Pick it up. Second set, down and up. Let's see who we've got on with us today. Nice. Oh, so good. Getting that heart rate going. Oh, solid crew. I love it. Mm -hmm. Hop down. Good, good, good. Keep those arms nice and strong. Spread the fingers wide. Strong base. We have seven, six, five, four. Butts up. Three, two, and rest. Ten seconds. And give your wrist a roll to release them. Third set in five, four, three, two. Pop on up. Let's roll. Awesome. Go tie. Chris, I love it. Lily's going. You look great, guys. Okay, so it's a little different form. We do our circuits usually for strength. This time we're just doing a bunch of reps to get the heart rate up. Last 10. Keep going, keep going. All out. We have one more set after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. <laughs> Woo! Stretch them out. Give the shoulders a shrug. We're coming up in five, four, three, two. Final set, tricep dips. I know, I know. Starts off easy and then it gets ridiculous around set two or three. Come on, come on. Awesome. Nice, Bonnie. I can't tell if that's Kayleen or Kayleen's sister. Sorry, but welcome regardless. Half done. I think that's Kayleen. Yeah. Last 10. This is our last set. Give me all you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up either to the knees or to stand. Tricep stretch. Release. Good job. Switch sides. So this next exercise is super safe to go fast. We've done this almost every day. It's a bicep curl. So my cycle stopped, got to get it going. Now we know what four set feels like now. So you know how to adjust your cycle accordingly. Hands down by the sides, make this. Pick up those light weights, imaginary light weights. First 30 seconds in three, two, one, pump it. Yeah. And if you want to, you can always count the number of reps you do in one set and try and either mimic that or go harder on the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see people flying. Okay, you guys are showing me up. They're like, yeah, yeah. Good. That's it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Woo, shake it out. Good job. All right. Second set in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Good. Now, something to be mindful of here is that the elbows don't flare out towards the sides. We want to keep them drawn in towards the midline of the body. So we're working that whole arm there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really squeeze those fists so we don't want to just be flinging our arms around. Pump, pump. That's it. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Awesome. Good, Jim. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Already done two sets. Good job. Take the bicep stretch. Do what you got to do. All right. Next set in four, three, two. Let's go. Squeeze those bands. Pop them up. Yes. Cool. 
Making sure we're not compromising form though. Nay straight spine, keep growing tall. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Give me all you got. We only have one more set after this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Only one more set. Catch your breath. We're going in five, four, three, and two. Let's go. All out, all out. After this, we're going to take a water break. Then we only have two more exercises. We're flying through it. We're breathing through Monday. Pumping. Good. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Making sure to keep a straight spine, though. We don't want to round out. There we go. Half jump. Yes. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bicep stretch. Clasp the hands. Lengthen them out. Grab water if you want it now. Good job. All right. Next up, we're going to get into some of the harder stuff using the weight of our entire body. The first one is called hand tap push up. I make my way into plank position. I tap, tap, push up. Tap, tap, push up. Always okay to do these on your knees. Okay, we're going to start in 15 seconds to start to make your way down into plank. Good. All right. We're rolling in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Tap, hand, hand, tap. Tap, push up. Tap, tap, push up. Many reps as you feel safe doing. Let's push ourselves a little bit harder today because I know we have the strength. We've done this before. We've got it. Yes. Nice. You get that little push-up break with the hand tap, balancing on one hand. Last 10. Good. Let me see. Three more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Three was a little ambitious. You guys did great. 10 seconds rest. Whew. All right. We're coming back down in four, three, two, and one. Second set. Go. <laughs> Sweet. And if going fast means being on your knees, totally cool. Awesome, Lily. Mm -hmm. Half done. Short bursts of concentrated energy. We grow stronger. A heart pump is great. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Two sets done. We're half done. All right. Check it out, check it out. We're going again in four, three, two. Hop into it, third set, go. And I'm curious, as I always am curious about feedback on whether we like this style or not, because I always like to know whether this is benefiting you or I'm just talking the whole time. So feel free to let me know. Half done. All right. Last 10. All out, all out, all out, last set. Give me all those push-ups that you can. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody, stay down on your hands, your knees. You can come up, roll the wrist around. Roll the shoulders out. Take a cross-body stretch. Switch sides. Release it. Okay, so our last, and it's really only two minutes of work, if you think about it, for a 30 second set. Our last ones are ups and downs or military, I don't remember what the technical name for this is, but we're starting down in forearm plank. We go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down fast as you can without letting the hips go all crazy. So we want to keep the movement in our upper body. All right, we're starting in 10. So start to make your way down into forearm plank. Fine to do these on these, the knees. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Up and down, up and down. And you have four sets. So if you want to drop down or push up with the right hand or the left hand first, 
and then switch which hand you go first and on the other side you can do that or you can just just roll with it either way half done yes good tie go chris i love it seven six five four three two rest good job justin good to see you all right second set in four three two hop on up let's go it's like the brain doesn't even get a chance to realize that it's resting before you have to jump right back into it. You guys are doing so well. Oh, half done. Mm -hmm. I see some knees going down. That's totally fine. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. <sighs> Move it around. Third set in four, three, two, let's go. Cool. This is the last thing we're doing for the upper body. We can do it. We've done it before. Yes, half done. After this, we've only got one more. Give me all you got. Let's 10, nine, eight. Seven, cool, Diane. Five, four, three, two, rest. And we've got our last one. Uh, I see people throwing their heads back, tired. Good, last one. Five, four, three, two, let's do it. <laughs> After this, we'll swap out our bands and have the question of the week once we catch a breath. Mm -hmm. Ups and downs. Amazing, half done. Good. Making sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders as you press up and your elbows underneath your shoulders as you come down. Last five, four, three, two, and one. And that was that. That was our cardio. So now, everyone come on up. Let's take a quick stretch because we did really good work. Shrug them out. And clasp the hands, active biceps, then the elbows fully press down, then the elbows fully press down. Keep going. I'm going to show you why we're doing this. We want to open up across the chest. We just contracted those muscles a lot, lengthen through the biceps. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. On this last one, I want you to straighten it out, hold it, little pulses up with the pinky fingers. Keep pulling your shoulders back. 10, 9, 8. We're just stretching. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now let's grab water, swap out the bands. We're moving on to our leg stuff. Good job. The question of the day is What characteristic or characteristics, you can list a few, do you most value in a good friend? Ponder. Feel free to unmute or toss in the chat and we can discuss. What characteristic or characteristics do you value most in a good friend? Steve says dependability, dependability and I did not get a second one and reliability. Kind of is kind of synonymous. <laughs> George says trustworthy. Yes. What else have we got? I see people crawling up to answer. Justin, I know you've got an answer in there somewhere. <laughs> All right. I accidentally chatted with Stephen personally, not to the whole group. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Steve, here's what I value most in a friend. <laughs> Only to you. What were your characteristics? Uh, I was going to say dependable and loyalty. 
dependable on loyalty. Yeah. Definitely. Clinton says trustworthy, chill, and loyal. I like how it's chill in there. Bonnie says truthful and responsible. Those are really good. Yeah. We like people we can trust and rely on. These are good. All right. If anyone else wants to answer, feel free to unmute or toss them in there or just message Steve directly. That's fine too. <laughs> and let's go ahead and pop our leg bands on. Angle the outer edging of the tubing up. Get all set up there. And let's start with some stretching because we know we want to warm up the body because we're going fast. So it's weird not doing our cardio burst. I'm like, when do we get to do that? I'm like, wait, no, we're not doing that today. My brain has to, to function, operate. All right, open up the hips, right leg, circle it around. You can take your hands to your hips as well to stabilize the body. So we're localizing this. Mm-hmm. We're doing 30 seconds of this. We have 30 seconds of the other leg, 30 seconds of good morning, and then we're ready. Nice. Last 10. And kind of like mobility Fridays. Five, four, three, two, left leg. Not part of our workout, just part of our warm up. These you do not have to do fast unless you really want to, but there's no real benefit. <laughs> Everyone's like, I want a friend that's trustworthy and loyal. Quentin's like, I just want someone who's chill to hang out with. <laughs> Good, last five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands across the shoulders, we know these ones well. Little bend in the knees, hinge forward, flat back. Come on up, hinge into it, and come up. If you can do these with straight legs and it doesn't tug too much on your lower back, go for it. Otherwise, take a little bend in your knees to help release some of the pressure off the hamstrings, off the lower back. Let me see a nice straight spine. There we go. Good. Last 10 seconds, dropping lower into it. And I want you to keep lengthening the line from your belly button to your chin. So none of this, only length. Good, three more. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. So we are still going to get into our calves as we normally do, but we're gonna do it with speed. It is a two-part heel race. So first part, my feet are parallel. I go up, rotate the sides, up. Parallel, open, parallel, open. And that's it, okay? We're doing our four sets in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay. And they start off easy, and at least for me, they get progressively harder as we rapidly move through them. Good. Keep going, get those heels even higher, half done. Now we're starting to feel that burn. Mm -hmm. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest, shake it out. We're going again in five, four, three, and two. Up and out. It takes a little bit of balance to do this as well and work through it. So be patient and go fast. <laughs> oh, my calves are burning so much. We started out so easy. And that's what we want. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest. And we're doing these both parallel and externally rotated because the calves are multiple muscles. It's not just one. So we want to get all parts of them. We're going again, three, two, 
One, let's go. All parts of the calf muscles. Burn it out. Mm -hmm. As you're doing this, make sure the top of your head stays parallel with the ceiling. We don't want to sway. We don't want to tip. My body is perfectly straight the whole time. Yes. Good. Neutral, externally rotated. Neutral, external. Last 10. Keep it up. Keep it up. After this, we only have one more set. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Ah, 10 seconds. I see people shaking their legs. We're feeling it. Good. We're going up again in four, three, two, and one. Last set. Just keep moving. No matter how much it burns, just keep moving because this is the most calf work we're going to do today. We're going to target other parts of the body as we keep going. So give me all you got. Awesome. Oh, everyone looks so great. We're like perfectly straight as we do this. Half done. Go Gabe. Sophie and Sydney looks good. I just see you guys bobbing. And we have six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Rest. Let's take a quick calf stretch. Right heel back behind you. Bend to the left knee. Now this heel is going to want to lift off the floor. Don't let it. Stretch it. Good. The more you bend to the front knee and press the back heel down, the more you'll release that muscle. And switch sides. Right foot forward. Left heel comes back. Glue it down to the floor. Hey, good stretch. Bend a little deeper and release. All right, next exercise, if you want a sip of water, grab it now while I demonstrate, is curtsy, lunge, and reach. Now, this looks very similar to ice skaters, but there's a small difference. What we're gonna do is find our left foot, step back behind you, and reach. Now, the difference between these and ice skaters are, as I step back with the leg, I want you to bend into the knee as you reach. So in an ice skater, we just kind of go side to side with a straight leg. These ones, you're bending the back knee. Now what I always warn of, and what's inevitably gonna happen, because it happens to everyone, is as we reach, we start to slouch. No slouching, chest stays up. So I want the work to be in the legs, not the spine, okay? So make your way up, we're going side to side. First 30 seconds, in five, four, Three, two, let's go. Go fast, get low. Take the bend in the back knee, squeeze your hips, squeeze your glutes. Yes, yes, beautiful. Amazing. Oh, and everyone has a nice straight spine. Making my day, making my start to my week. I like it. Awesome, Lily. Yes, yes, yes. Dan looks great. Justin looks good. George, I just see your head like zooming by. <laughs> Woo, last 10. Oh, Jim. Guys, we are firing today. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. If you want to kind of release it, you can rock side to side, get into the hips. Okay, we're going again in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Chest up. Get that back knee all the way down towards the floor. Yes. Now, little secret, not so much a secret because we talk about it a lot, but reminder, engage your core the entire time you're doing this. It'll help you control your body and get deeper into that work in a safe way. Mm-hmm. Half done. Yeah. And the more you can bend into the legs, the easier it is to reach down. Love it. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I saw the end there. I saw something like this. <laughs> That's okay. Give the hips a rock side to side. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. And maybe you can keep your body low the whole time so you're not bobbing up and down. You're just working the legs side to side. Just options. Form looks great. 
making sure we're breathing. <laughs> All right. After this, we only have one more set. Good. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Whew, how are we feeling? Can I get like a two thumbs up if we're still alive? I'm not seeing any. Okay, I'm seeing some thumbs. Okay, we're good. I just see bodies kind of swaying in the wind. All right, we're going again. Last set in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We know how to do these. This is our last set. We're going to take a water break after this. So give me all you got. And after this one, we get to take a break from being on our feet. We're going to come down into plank. So burn out those legs. Mm -hmm. Good, half done. It can be a slow movement as long as you're still moving. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep moving, grab water. You can walk around, you can kick it out, you can do whatever you need to do. After this, we have three, maybe four more exercises. We're gonna kind of call an audible on the last one based on how tired everyone looks. So our next exercise, you can observe as you take your sips of water. We're gonna come back down into plank position. It is a plank jack, out and in. Now, if you're not into plank jack, you can step, 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 Step side to side. Either way, your legs are coming out and in. And I want you to try and do the best you can to keep your upper body stable so we're not like bouncing all over the place. We're just jumping, okay? Make your way down. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Plank jacks. Good, we're going in five, four, three, and two. Here we go, 30 seconds. Ah, oh, yes. George is flying. Jim is going. Sweet. Oh, Lily. Yeah, go Chris. Upper bodies are looking fantastic. Everyone's really stable. I don't see a lot of crazy bouncing. I'm stoked. Great, Gabe. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and drop your knees. Woo, catch your breath. We're going again in four. Three, two, and one. Jump into it. Awesome. There's a type of workout called Tabata where you do really fast sprint intervals with really short rest. Uh, and they normally go for four minutes with 20 seconds on and 10 seconds rest. So today we're doing a different form of Tabata. Good. Last 10. Six, five, four, Three, two, and rest. Ten seconds. Oh, I see you all going all in. I know, but we're doing great. Good. We're up again in four, three, two, and one. Jump on up. You can always step jack. That's fine too. Just keep moving. Keep moving. It's for the heart. If we can push through these cardio bouts and make our heart stronger, it'll make everything we do easier from walking upstairs to hiking to biking to swimming, you name it. The not so fun stuff, but the really good stuff. Half done. And if you need to step jack, step jack, plank jack, or do some variation, that's cool too. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Diane, amazing, four, three, two, rest. On your rest, see if you can try and regulate your breathing into the nose, Maybe out through the nose, maybe out through the mouth, but the more you can slow it down now, the more your body will help reset. Good, we're up again, last set in four, three, two, and one. Let's do it, all in. After this, we're gonna come up to stand, but there is no jumping. So this is the last of our jumping for the next couple minutes. Yes. Good, half done. 
Engage your core, engage your glutes. Keep that upper body so strong, so stable. Last 10. All out. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, come on up to stand. Grab water. All right, next up, squat knee to elbow. So it's not a jumping one, but we're moving every part of our body. So our heart rate gets elevated because our heart's like, what's happening? And that's what we want. Hands behind the head, we squat up, squat up. Notice I'm not bringing my elbow down to my knee. I'm bringing my knee as high up as I can to my elbow. Spine stays straight. Squat up, side to side, okay? We're gonna start in 10. We're coming up to stand, set your water down, do whatever you gotta do. Step your feet slightly wider than hip distance. Heels stay glued down to the floor the whole time. We're going in three, two, and one. I right, squat, up, squat, up. You can go fast too. <laughs> cool. Nice. Sometimes the hardest part is just getting that knee up, but we really want to use our core here. Half done. Oh, damn. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Last five, four, three, two, rest. Kick it out, shake it out. All right. We're going again in five four three and two here we go down up down up make it fast normally when we do our cardio burst we do 90 seconds straight we don't even take the 10 seconds so we can do this nice notice if you're starting to slouch out keep the elbows wide bring the knee to the arm as best you can killer jim half done Lion. Oh, look like synchronized dances. Everyone's like bobbing, we're going. Last 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Half done. You can take your hands to your hips, move them around. Other way, come back through center, hands to head. We're going in three, two, one, third set. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't care how low you go. Just try and drop into it. Awesome. Half done. After this, we've got our last one. All you've got, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 2 more, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. <sighs> All right. Last one in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. Go ahead, keep those elbows wide. Get that knee all the way up. Nice, Kayleen. Good. Last 10. Now we're gonna take a break, work into some lunges in five, four, three, two, and one. Water break and rest. Now we do this next exercise a whole lot because it's one of my favorite ones for working the whole lower body and the core. It's the lunge knee up. So you don't have to jump into the position yet. I'll give you time to be here. Take a bit, take a beat, a minute, a minute. We come back, up, back, up. Okay, because we're doing four sets, we've got 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, so go ahead and make your way into the lunge position. Right foot back, left foot forward. Drop that back knee down. We're gonna start in four, three, two, and one. We're through it, back and up. Now I want you to get your back knee down to the floor, even though we're going fast, so keep good form. Mm -hmm. Good. We're already half done. 
Yes. Now we practice getting our knee towards our elbow. Use that same core strength to get your knee up towards your chest. 10. We have four, three, two, and rest. Now let's use that 10 seconds to get into the position. Left foot back. Drop the back knee down. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Pick it up. If the arms aren't making sense, don't worry about the arms. You can take them to your hips. You can take airplane arms. Do whatever feels structurally sound here, whatever enables you to move fast. As long as your core is engaged and you're not rounding out the back, I'm happy. Last 10. Good. Get that back knee down. Pull it up. Up. Give me three more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. All right. Let's use our 10 seconds. Get back into the right leg. Last one on this side. Get that back knee down. We're going in four, three, two, and go. <laughs> cool. I see some people with hands on hips. I said some people doing arms. Whatever. We got the movement. Chest up, straight spine. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Then we're going to move into our last set. Then we have time for one more exercise. Yes. In five, four, three, two, and one. Left foot back. Final one of the day. Get that knee low. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Get it up. <laughs> nice, Bonnie. Yes. Guys, your core strength is amazing because you're all doing this and you're not falling over. And that's a lot of your core. Last 10. Good. Yeah, give me two more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Grab your water. We're going to take a full 30 seconds of just rest. You can breathe, move around, kick it out. We have one more exercise. We're gonna do our core, which is just 90 seconds straight work. And then we're done for the day. Time flies when you're doing intervals, I think. Okay, so our final exercise of the day is a burpee. Good old fashioned burpee. So we start at the top, we reach up, we come down, jump back, push up, jump up, leap, down, jump, push up, up, leap. You can do a variation of that if you want. You can come down, you can step back, drop the knees, step up. I want to see jumps at the top though. Consider that like the victory part. You made it to the top, give me a big old jump and then come back down, okay? We're gonna start in about 10. So make your way to the top of your workspace. All right. We're going in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, burpees, go. Yeah, arms up, big leap, woo. If you feel so inclined to go woo at the top, like give me a woo or like some kind of like happy noise, because you did it. Yeah. Awesome. Cindy and Sophia looks great. I love those jumps. That's pizzazz. Last 10, let me see two or three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody up to stand rest. Those are so good. I'm seeing a couple people with their arms down. If you can muster the energy to get your arms up at the top, I'd love to see it. Helps open up your shoulders. There's your method behind the mayhem. We're going again in five, four, three, two. Hands down, jump back, push up, up, jump. Amazing. I don't know if we like this kind of workout or not, but we're sure knocking the ball out of the park in terms of form and dedication. Great. Awesome, George. Half done. Last 10. Give me two more. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
to and everybody up to stand. Are we tired yet? I think so. Just got two more sets. All right. Make your way to the top of your workspace. We're going again in five, four, three, and two. Let's roll. Jim, great, great variation, that's perfect. Moving fast does not mean moving recklessly, it means moving smart and fast. So whatever we need to do to get there. Friday was a slow day, today's a fast day. All right, half done. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, everybody up. Regulating the breathing. In and out through the nose or in through the nose, out through the mouth. We've got one more set. Then we're gonna take water. Then we're take it down to core. Okay. Everybody walk to the top of your workspace. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Final set. This is it, your last push of the day. The rest we're gonna be on our backs. Still hard different heart. Oh, I'm getting those arms up, big jumps to the top. Yes. Great. So great. Half done. Ooh, we're so now we're getting tired, but we can definitely do it and we'll be glad we did. We get water after this. Last ten. Two more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody up. Grab your water. Good work. Okay. We're going to work our way down to start. So our first exercise is a seated bicycle. You can either be on your hands or if that's too much on your back, you can be on your forearms. Okay, we're going fast. Next exercise is double crunch. So my legs are in tabletop, elbows to knees. Up and up. If you want more of a challenge, straight legs, elbows to knees. Now, we're all gonna meet with our legs straight, fingers to toes. Okay, so we're working our way from bicycle, bent knees, straight legs, all right? So let's make our way down. First 30 seconds, we have seated bicycles. We're going in five. Four, three, and two, cycle it out. And we don't really want to round out our spine here, so use your core to get those knees in, in, in. It's also going to burn in the thighs, that's okay. You can come down into your form, that's easier. As long as you're moving fast. Yes, there we go. Last 10. Then we're coming down for double crunch in six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Everybody onto your back and legs and tabletop. Imagine you're balancing a beverage on your shins. 30 seconds, elbows to knees, crunch it up, down, up, down. That's it. And because our feet are off the floor, our lower abs are working to keep our legs and tabletop. And then we're coming up off the shoulders towards the upper, up, up, the apple, the upper abs as well. Cool. All right, get those elbows all the way up to the knees, last 10. After this, we're gonna extend our legs straight up towards the ceiling for toe tap in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straight legs, reach your arms up, get your fingertips to your toes. Reach and reach, that's it. Good, try and get your head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Get your upper back as much off the floor as you can. Awesome, that's it. If you have tight hamstrings, this is hard, and that's also why we do it, lengthening through the heels. Last six, five, four, three, two. Everybody pull your knees into your chest, rock side to side rest. Slow the breathing down. 
Mm -hmm. We're going to spend the next minute on our backs. So let yourself fully relax. Circle both knees around one direction. Just move them around. Continue to pull the knees into the chest. Mm -hmm. Circle the knees around the other direction. Good. Now grab the backs of both legs. And 10 times, I want you to extend the legs up, pull the knees in. Extend the legs up, pull the knees in. Yeah. Last four. And two. Last one. Okay, grab your shins again. Pull your knees in towards your armpits. Release the hips. Walk side to side. Knees come back through center two or three times. Rock and roll up and down along the spine until you make your way up to sit. Uh, soles the feet come together. Butterfly stretch. Flutter it out. And root the right hand into the floor, reach the left arm up and over. Switch sides, we're going side to side. First six. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the left hand up. Bring the right hand up. Bring the hands together. Awesome job. That was fast. That was crazy, and you guys killed it. Good job. <laughs> we will not be doing this intensive cardio tomorrow, but we'll be doing still hard, but not as cardio intensive. Good job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go Gator. Thank you. Yeah.